Hey guys, AstroDev here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm finally going to be showing you guys how you can actually go ahead and make a mid song cutscene in Final Fantasy Funkin' Codename Engine. Now, yeah, I was supposed to do this weeks ago, but uh, life happens, I got caught up with stuff. But yeah, I'm finally here, ready to show you how to do it. So, obviously, we can't make a mid song cutscene without the cutscene itself. So, the way you can do that is in your video in your mods folder so my i'm going to do my in it mine on the giving tree uh for reference so you just go to videos and you make a mp4 video and then you literally just drag and drop it into videos and that's what you need to do for that uh you do need to make sure that the the size doesn't really matter for the of the video like resolution wise because you can always scale it by code um, however, what does matter is making sure the exported video has no um, no audio to it whatsoever. Otherwise, it's going to overlap with the instrumental to the game or the song even. So, yeah, obviously, once you've done that, uh, you can go ahead and code it in. Now, what I'm going to show you, you can make it an event, but I prefer having it like st a stage or a script because it's easier for me to manage. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that now. So inside of your songs, uh, you can do it inside of your song by making a script. But since this is a one shot song, I'm just keeping all my scripts inside of the songs. And then all you need to do is just make a script, call it whatever you want. I kept mine simple, just call it the song and then underscore video. And as you can see, we have our blank uh, video here. So I'm going to show you guys what you have to do to make the video show up. So first thing you're going to want to do is um, Codename Engine uses uh, HX VLC instead of HX Codec, which Psych Engine does use now as well. So you're going to want to import your FLX video sprite, which can be done with import HX VLC dot flex or dot FLX video sprite. And then next you're obviously going to want to make said video a sprite. So we're going to do a var just call var spreading it and by it well let's just say my video like that and then we're going what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get uh, the video and all uh, created and ready inside of create and then we can play it on whatever step so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do add and then the variable so in my case spreading it equals new FLX video sprite and underneath that, you're going to want to load in the video file. So you can do that by load assets dot get path. And then inside of here, uh, paths dot file and then the path to your file. So videos, mine's the yapping tree dot mp4. Like that. And then you can also set the camera. Uh, you can have it on cam HUD. That's if you want the HUD camera to be visible for like the whole thing. But if you want parts where the HUD goes away, I recommend putting it on cam game. Uh, there is a way to make a custom camera and put it underneath cam HUD, but I don't know how to do that yet. So I just put it on cam game since it's easier. And then what we're going to do here is we're literally just going to do a little bit of uh, cleanup handling. So if you do... Uh, the video dot bitmap dot on end reached dot add function what this does is this will run all the stuff inside of the function when the video itself is finished now since mine goes for the entire song length all i want to do is stop the video and then destroy the video to save up memory and then i want to just set it to null just in case i want to reset it at any point even though I don't really need to, but yeah, you do that. And underneath that, um, yeah, this, and then underneath this, this is where I typically position it. So for example, my video is uh, 1280 by 720, and um, I'm using the basic stage, so stage.hx, .h uh, the dub battle stage. So the resolution for it, to show directly in the center you've got to set the scale of each axis to 1.25 
and you've got to set the X to 225 and the Y to 200. Uh, yours won't be exactly the same as mine. You might, it's all depending on your stage zoom and stage side size, where the camera starts from and character positioning. So just mess around with that when you put yours in. And now here is where we're gonna be handling actually starting our video, because at the moment, uh, this is an, this is just gonna add a still frame onto the screen. So the way we can start it is inside of a step hit function or whatever function, you can call it in anything. I prefer doing it in a step hit because then it's time with the music. And then we just on, so literally the sec, the millisecond the music starts, so on beat, so on step zero, uh, you just play the FLX video sprite. And now uh, we're gonna be doing uh, pausing and resuming because obviously if you pause, you don't want the video to keep on going. So the way you do that in Codename Engine is function on game paused like that. And then inside of here, you literally just do the video, the video variable dot pause. And then um, alternatively to resume, you do on uh, substate closed, pretty sure. Yeah, no. It's, Nah, it's just closed, not closed. Close enough, though. Uh, and then, literally, all you do is you just uh, play from where it is. And, yeah, that's our video. Um, this is what it will look like in s because it's on-game pause, not on-game paused. Okay, anyway. Three, two, yeah, as one, you can see, go. now uh, I pause, they pause, I resume, they resume. Now, if you wanted to have, mul let, let's say you had multiple videos and stuff like that, well, the easiest way to do that um, is for scaling them to the screen instead of doing this over and over again. You can always do a for loop, so it would be for uh, video sprite in, and then just uh, all the video sprites, etc. And then you just call the function inside of it. Um, yep. And that's pretty much all you really need to know, essentially. Uh, another way you could do it is you could store a array of all that. So then if, say, I got a video, like, 2 that plays at, like, cursed up 251, I can always just do... Um, video collection and then we do video collection one dot play that plays the second video but obviously I don't have a second video but this is all this is if you had it so uh yeah this is the script uh, this will be on game banana and down below uh, so you can either copy and paste it or go to my or go to game banana and download it uh, this will be getting put into funkin scripter uh, when I get around to actually releasing that. So, uh, yeah, with that said, I will see you all in the next video, whatever and whenever it may be. Astro Dev, out.